Hello the running community, welcome to our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification below so you can get an update of when we upload new videos. Now, today I wanted to speak about what do you do after you've completed Couch to 5K. So many people go on this journey of Couch to 5K and a huge congratulations to you if you have completed Couch to 5K. It's a huge, huge milestone and it's a great amount of effort in your running that you completed this task. Now, there are a number of options you can move on to after Couch to 5K. I find quite a few people complete Couch to 5K and they'll get stuck in a bit of a rut and potentially lose their mojo. So I wanted to give a few pointers on what you can do next after you've completed Couch to 5K. Let's have a look at the options. Now the first thing I think is important after you've completed Couch to 5K is keep some sort of consistency going just while you make your mind up on what journey you want to take next. Perhaps repeat the last weeks of Couch 5K. Keep doing three times a week running. Just keep that momentum going. Don't rush into anything. Don't rush into something. Take your time, make your decision on where you want to go with your running next. Just keep that consistency going. It will keep that fitness up and it will still improve your 5K and onwards. So one of the most popular decisions after completing Couch 5K is to actually go a longer distance and the natural step up to that is 10K. Now that is a great milestone to go for after you complete 5K. Have a look around, there's so many free training plans and apps you can use also to get you to that 10K. But be wary of how much training you're doing as well. Only increase your mileage 10% per week. You don't want to run the risk of getting an injury and you want to look after your body and yourself make sure you do have rest days. If you need help getting to that 10k, please also visit our running community group on Facebook because we can help you along the way. But like I say, plenty of free resources out there to get you to that next step of 10k. Going faster, another popular choice. You might want to improve your 5k time and this is great. One thing you'll have to get used to or get more into your training is doing intervals. Uh, for example, you could do five times one minute fast, one minute slow. That's a very popular one to start off with. You could do all sorts of speed reps. You can go out on a short run and just look at the next lamp post and run as quick as you can to it and do that as many times as you want to. This is called fartlek training. Another one that I strongly recommend if you want to get faster and improve your 5k time is actually heel repetitions. I've put a video link above, you'll see I've done a uh, whole video on heel rep sessions, but this is something that is certainly get your 5k time down if that's what you wish to achieve and it will also definitely help you in the long run with strengthening your running. Now unfortunately because of Covid at the moment there's one thing that's not happening which I really highly recommend so of course I'm going to include in this video because it will be back soon and that's Park Run. Park Run is just simply incredible. There's probably a Park Run near you just go on their website and have a look at location It'll start at 9am and it'll be a 5k run, all friendly, all sorts of different runners, all sorts of different people, including walkers as well. It is a fantastic community and it's something you could do consistently on a Saturday or whenever you can turn up really to join in with a great community and keep your running going with consistency as well. Obviously after that you might want to enter a race, which again because of Covid unfortunately is not many really on at the moment, but again this will come into play soon and a 5k race could be something that gets you going if you really want to improve that time. But overall, I would go towards Park Run just because there's no pressure on you. You can go there, run a 5k at your own pace and enjoy yourself with others. So whichever running journey you choose after your Couch 5k, I wish you the best of luck. And please remember to try and be consistent and remain patient. Take your time. Please do feel welcome to search the running community group on Facebook. Come and join us, share your running journey and we'll give you plenty of tips along the way. Do check out my beginners running video just in case there is something on there that might jog your mind or something that will give you more tips going further on. There's a link just above. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, take care and I'll speak to you all again soon. Freezing outside, a little bit high on the feeling, can't seem to focus.